When I first walked into that dressing room, seeing Seski's, you know, I don't know how many appearances, you must have made at least 100 appearances before I was there at 16. Yeah, maybe more, I don't know, but, um, you know, I was starstruck straight away and getting a chance to play with him and, you know, he, he spots the ball that no one else would. I, I wouldn't spot the balls he, he plays, that's for sure. Um, and it's a great thing, I can just make those runs and he'll find it. You know, it's very important to have players like Theo in the team. You, you have many types of players, but, you know, he's, especially what happened to him when he was so young, he went to the World Cup when he was 16. It's the easy thing for him, you know, would have been to become, you know, uh, like a big star player in terms of, you know, being big head or, you know, change. Because when he came, he was very, very quiet, you know, he, he hardly even talked, you know, and it's true. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> Come on a quick fire on other people in the dressing room, okay? Who's the biggest joke? Definitely not this guy, yeah. No way. It's very easy. Uh, uh, boy, yeah. yeah, it's easy. He's very yeah. funny, very funny. Um, Who's in charge of the iPod in the dressing room? Definitely not me. I sometimes put my iPod on, but it gets thrown off. If you could take any footballer to a dinner party with you as your special guest, who would it be and why? Well, I would probably go for uh, Zinedine Zidane. Who's the most likely to give a rousing speech before the team go out? Who sort of punches their chest and slaps their face? Or... <laughs> no, we don't do that. <laughs> We're not that <laughs> mental, no, are we? We are not that English. We are more European. <laughs>